uh, Scotty Bowman, you know, you know, one of the greatest coaches in sports history. What can you say about him that hasn't already been said? Nine Stanley Cups. Uh, was he my favorite coach? I don't think so. Uh, I had this guy in youth hockey. Boy, he was really something. Do I look like a? Do I look like a? Nah. Well, why are you skating for me like? Huh? Well, he was more than just a coach. Uh, he was really a teacher. Work that truck. That's the way I like it. What the hell? We... That's a... You gonna let him stand in here like a? Hold it! Just because you look like the gimp, don't mean you play like the gimp. Don't let him stand in here and punk you like you patting him on the legs. Give him the gourmet shot. Be a bad motherfucker. Here you go. Let's go. There wasn't really a practice that went by that I didn't learn something new um, and useful. One, drop your glove. Two, catch jersey. Three, over the head. And where I'm from, we call this the Inglewood Jack. What I say? Inglewood Jack. That's the way it is. Inglewood Jack. Yeah. Inglewood Jack. The guy was all about growth, uh, mental, physical, I mean, even spiritual. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. There's some coaches out there who, who are, you know, the tyranny of evil men. I tried myself to just be a shepherd. Inglewood Jack! In Inglewood Jack! And most, you know, maintain an air of cool. Get him, get him, get him. Oh! You know, clearly I took some inspiration from Coach Schultz, but that was a long time ago. I guess you could say I just outgrew him. Outgrew me? <sighs> that ungrateful son of a bitch couldn't even spell hockey before he met me. Jules Winfield. Man, it'd be kind of cool to see him again. The next time I see him, I'm going to take Lord Stanley's cup and shove it right up his candy ass. I should call him. Anytime, any place. Bring it on, mother. Just bring it on.